everybody, I'm Sergeant Power Pickle, and welcome to Elite Dangerous. Today I want to talk a little more on the alien ruins and the progress that people have made. So, there's a chart going around for the obelisks and the different relic combinations. I'll bring that pick up now. Now, this chart makes it very easy to track the relics, and if you want, you can write it down on a piece of paper also, if you don't have a computer access to you. From what I've seen, there are five different groups, one being tech, another being historical, etc. For each five groups, there are 21 scans you need to complete, so in total there is 105 you need to get. Also from what I've seen is everyone has their own pattern, meaning someone who may get an obelisk with just a relic might not work for you. A cool thing to mention here is if there is multiple people in the area scanning, you will also need you will also get the data. So basically, you can just sit in your ship all day. Now, I'm not 100% on this next one, but I hear if you change a server or re-log back in, all your progress changes and you will need to restart only because of the different patterns the obelisk gives. But don't count me on that one. So, that's just from what I hear. But uh, if you guys have any more information on anything uh, on the Elite Dangerous, then comment down below or whatever. I know this was a short little video. Um, I also have a PS4 community page for Elite Dangerous. So if you guys are on PC or play on Xbox One and you guys are interested in moving over to the PS4 version, you can. Uh, I have a community for it, so just go ahead and start posting all your pictures and stuff like that. If you currently already play it, then that's perfect. Just go ahead and shove some pictures in there. I'll post a picture. It should have a picture of the community page up right now. and uh, Just go ahead and type that in, and you should be able to join that easy. I'm also going to link my clan into the bottom, Dark Echo. We are a clan that is expanding onto the PS4. Uh, we are a PC clan that is thinking about going on to consoles, so I am the person that decided to take the responsibility of branching it off onto the PS4, so that's what we are doing. Um, so if you guys are interested in joining up in Dark Echo and seeing what the whole clan is about, we are in just a, you know a regular clan of people that got put into a dangerous game. And we are actually a part of the game now. Our clan is in the game. So it's really cool. And if you guys want to be a part of that, then go to the link and sign up. But anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in future Elite Dangerous videos. Peace out.